What's up guys? We've got a new video coming to you today. Our buddy Jesse has got a question and it's kind of a, it's a positive question. This is a good email to get. The past year and a half I've been trying to become lucid. I'm curious as to what it feels like when I actually become lucid uh, and how will I know when I'm making progress? How will I know when I'm doing the right thing? For instance, I've been remembering my dreams more and more. I've been writing them down. I had a moment where I realized I was dreaming and I did the finger to palm trick. This is referring to the, uh, the reality check that I've taught you before. I had a blurry realization I was dreaming and I tried to jump really high and I then woke up. So I have the question. First, when I become fully lucid, will I be able to tell that I'm lucid? If I become lucid, what is something basic that I should try and do so as to not be able to leave the dream, so as to stay in the lucid state? Three, do you think I'm on the right path to becoming lucid? Any tips for me? Okay, firstly, well done for getting this far. This is, uh, you've got past the sort of hurdle that most beginners uh, fall at, which is that they don't actually take the time to practice and to write their dreams down and to improve. Okay, so you've, you've got past the first hurdle. The next part is just gonna become, is just to become more stable and grounded in a lucid dream and to advance your skills. Easier said than done, okay? The first thing, I would explain to you is this. When you are in a lucid dream and you find that it's a hazy, it's a blurry experience, you can't really focus on particular things and you can't really decide what to do because it's sort of like you're being swept up in it. At the same time, you have a realization that it's a dream and that you're in a lucid dream and you're controlling it to some degree, but you can't really make a conscious decision to do specific things because it just feels too blurry. It feels too, too intangible in that way. So, the, the reason this happens is this. In waking life, people go about their daily activities most of the time on autopilot. You'll be surprised at the amount of time in a day that someone is not actually focused on what they're doing and they're not really aware of why or what they're doing. Okay, so I'll give you an example. When you get up in the morning, uh, like most people, I assume you would go to work and the journey from home to work usually people don't really, they're not really awake for that journey, okay? Now, obviously, they're awake in the sense of, you know, they can see what they're doing and they're not going to just be falling asleep at the wheel of their car, but they're not really awake as in aware of their surroundings and actually concentrating on what's going on and what they're experiencing because it's a part of the day that everyone just has to do. The commute to work is not really seen as exciting, you know? It's just an automatic part of the day that you have to get through in order to get to work and to start working and to begin your day. Okay, and most people aren't aware of this. And this autopilot mentality translates to the dream. Okay, and unless you train yourself to become more aware throughout the entire day, then in the dream, you're gonna experience a lot of blurry dreaming. And this is sort of what you referred to when you tried, you said you tried to jump really high and you had a, the blurry realization that you were dreaming, but you then woke up. And the, the main reason I think that this has happened is that you possibly aren't spending enough time during the waking day uh, being aware of what you're doing and being completely in the moment now, so to speak. So the first thing I would invite you to do is to take 10 minutes out of every hour, okay? Or may maybe start with five minutes because it's gonna be easier to build up the habit that way. Every hour, take five minutes out of your day and just just sit down and be aware of everything around you. Hear the sounds, what, how you feel, what can you smell, what can you see, and what thoughts are you having. Being completely aware of where you are in the world and what you're experiencing. And even just doing this, this is sort of like a more detailed reality check, because a reality check is testing whether you're awake and being aware of yourself in any moment. So it's sort of like a, a longer reality check. And by doing this every hour throughout the day, it doesn't have to be every single hour from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, because that could get a bit overwhelming. Maybe between nine and five, okay, during the work day or during your normal day, whatever it is that you do. Uh, just take five minutes out of that hour to really be aware of yourself and to really take in the things that are happening around you. And I guarantee this will, in time, maybe a week, maybe two weeks, it could even be a month, but it will go back into the dream and you will find that the next time you uh, become lucid, you have more of a clear experience. It will be more like you can see what's going on and it's not as blurry, okay? It's gonna be more vivid, more, more defined, and you're gonna be able to focus on things a lot easier, okay? So that's the first thing I would invite you to do. 
And the next part of the question is, when I become fully lucid, will I be able to tell? Now, I think I have answered this in a previous video. Uh, the short answer is yes, because it's such a different experience to waking life and to normal dreaming that you will instantly know, most of the time, you'll instantly know that it's something different and that you're actually not in a normal dream and you're not in waking life. It's a unique experience. It's often compared to waking life because you have that conscious awareness and you can decide what to do, but it's not the same, it's, it's different. Uh, so there are three experiences that you can have. Waking life, normal dreaming, and lucid dreaming. Uh, I'm not gonna go into astral projection because that's something slightly different, similar, but slightly different. Uh, but in regards to this question, yeah, lucid dreaming is a unique experience compared to normal dreaming and waking life. You will usually be able to tell when you're lucid dreaming because it is, as I said, different to normal dreaming. There's a different atmosphere, there's a different feeling. Uh, you'll, you'll feel different, different about yourself and about what you can do. Uh, and you'll have a different sort of awareness th th than you do in waking life. Um, because you'll have that sense of being in, in an environment where you can control things, but at the same time you can also just let go and let the dream take you along and experience the adventure. Uh, so it's not quite like waking life in the sense that you, uh, you, you're you aware of certain rules, certain um, social norms. Those things are sort of put aside in a lucid dream. So while you're aware of the fact that you can control your decisions, you're also aware of the fact that you don't need to decide to do certain things because the normal rules don't apply. Okay, So for example, you don't need to decide to walk in a straight line going down the road and if you want to walk out into traffic, you can do so uh, because you, you, you won't get hurt as you would in waking life in a, in a lucid dream. So it is slightly different and you will, it's one of those things that's kind of difficult to explain unless you actually experience it. But have, when you first have a lucid dream, usually you will be aware of the fact that it's not quite like a normal dream and it's definitely not like waking life. Similar, but different. Okay. So. The last part of your question, do you think I'm on the right path to become lucid? Any tips? Yes, I think you're on the right path. You're doing very well. Uh, I would just advise you to do the uh, five minutes out of every hour sort of reality check. Make sure that you're actually writing down your dreams every morning. Um, and yeah, just keep going with it. I'll see you in the next video. If anyone has any questions, please email them in to me at contact at howtolucid.com. And I'll try and get back to you as fast as I can. I've got a lot of questions to get through, of course, but I will eventually get to your question and if you haven't already subscribed please go ahead and subscribe now I will be releasing I'm going to try and do a video every day maximum every two days okay so go ahead and subscribe there'll be a lot more content coming and I'll see you in the next video